How's it guys? Welcome back to Rex Rides. Um, so, trailer wiring. Uh, this is a little bike trailer I built for myself. So you can see it's more designed for a single bike. Um, that's designed how I wanted it. I wanted it to be able to convert to a flatbed so the bike clamp comes off. Um, it's got the ramp, everything up here, spare wheel on top so it's safe, and then it's actually locked on with a uh, with a toolbox and uh yeah so there's, there's a couple of things i might have done differently but i mean this is ideal and so far everything's great i really like these light enclosures because they're pretty solid you know rocks and stuff not going to damage it all the light um the only thing that's really really bothering me with this trailer is that these lights you get off the market they're all made out of pure chinesium so and they're never really very good so the moment we're sitting with no brake lights no tail lights only indicators and i've pretty much had enough of trying to fix these things and get their contacts to line up and everything they are such a problem um so i'm gonna switch this over to leds right um so i've got these little leds they relatively inexpensive i don't know if you consider 200 bucks a piece inexpensive i think the cat just sneezed <laughs> good error it's on the spot <laughs> in the sun having a love <laughs> i love cats right so i am not even going to try and figure out what's going on here i'm just going to rewire new leds um We'll get on to the rewiring of all that. Uh, now, here's the thing. We actually have uh, five cars that can tow. And there's another uh, bucky in the back. And we've got the Land Cruiser. And we've got four trailers, two fenders, a bike trailer, and the horse box. So we have to keep these things. You know, there's a lot of maintenance that goes going into the bloody things. Um, so I made myself a few tools which you can make quite easily and um you know all the cars have different issues and you've got to check that everything is working right so before we get on to trying to let's assume you you have this trailer you don't want to change the leds or anything you just want to repair it um or well, there's a problem with your trailer wiring you're trying to figure out what it is guys it's really simple if you can wire a light bulb to a battery you can wire a trailer there's just a few small other issues that uh you need to be aware of i'm going to run through them quickly first of all the numbering of the the actual trailer connections can get confusing at times but there's a very simple way to look at it so that will figure you for you that let you figure out quite easily the other thing is your ground wires your earth wires most of your automotive electrical problems comes to a, down to a bad earth so you have to have your earth there on the hitch correct and you have to have an earth connected to that earth onto the trailer that earth goes through the tow bar or the tow hitch and and it, it connects to the earth of the body if you don't do that you're going to have little disco lights appearing on the back when you try and indicate what happens you indicate right both both your um indicator and your tail light is going to flash and that's going to get very confusing. You're like, what have I done? I've done it perfectly, but it's flashing. And that's why you don't have a ground coming from your common return, earth or ground, same thing, um, on your tail lights to the bodywork of the trailer. That's a good solid earth that you can test will come through your tow hitch. Um, so that's the one thing to check. So it's the numbers. The wiring of that and of course your difference between your tail light and your brake light so all of that we're going to go through in this video um and of course your different leds and everything but first off before you start diagnosing problems because i've had a problem with that when you put the um the hitch in a little bit skew it can actually short out your your brake lights or your tail lights or something pop a fuse on the car and then you're trying to fix the trailer and there's nothing wrong with the trailer there's something wrong with the car's hitch that one has a, a unique little problem um in that when you have a, any trailer hitched 
and you press your hazard lights, none of your indicators, everything stops working. So it's nothing to do with the trailer. It's got to do with the flasher relay itself. So that is, you know, it's, it's wearing out. And now with the trailer additional lights, too much current going through flasher relays and working. So what I'm going to suggest you guys do is first off, we are going to test the vehicle. Now, obviously, you can have someone do this, you know, with a trailer on, but that's not always that simple when you're alone. So I've made this little thing. Can pop in there. Cable long enough. And, you know, the cabling is not that expensive. So, guys, then a little, essentially a little handheld trailer. Um... Just make yourself this if you've got a number of vehicles that can tow or you're checking a lot or something. Uh, it's just so much simpler to to work with. So right, first off, get the ignition on. What I like to do also, when I'm testing this, is press the brake lights because I want to see if the ignition is off. So let's say you're stuck next to the road and you see a car coming next to you and there's some kind of problem you can always flash your brake lights at them to let you know let them know you're there so ignition on and we are going to check our left indicator right indicator hazards that's all working great what happens if we do that nothing all right and then brake lights and headlights so remember your headlights or your tail lights are always dimmer than your brake lights um, and when you're measuring the bulb because it's got a double element in the bulb your resistance over your brake light bulb is lower than the tail lights giving you a, a brighter light so that's the one confusion cleared up. You can measure the resistance. You cannot measure the resistance resistance of an LED because it's got two electrodes and then the gas runs through the gas lights up. So you cannot test it with a multimeter. It's going to give you resistance of zero. So you have to actually test that with a little battery. And that's it. So we've determined now that the vehicle's towing connector is good. Um, and so now we can move on to the trailer. So what I'm going to do is open this up first, and then we're going to go over the connecting numbers, and that'll let you see exactly how they work, and you can have no confusion as to how, how that all operates, and it's a little sneakies behind there. Right, so the first thing that you're going to be noticing here, you've now downloaded this image, so left hand flasher, right hand, now they all, it's all there, but it's numbered, so what the fuck, and is that looking at it there or there? No, we don't know. So here's the golden rule. The number, trust the numbers. When you look at it, let's try that, that way. This is the numbering and the wiring facing the back of the car and facing the pins. So if you look at your plug, it's open. That numbering, that wiring corresponds with the plug looking at it that way. But that is with the, the little tab. You'll see there's a tab that um, causes, uh, that fits into this keyway over here. Okay, that must be at the bottom. Now, the con other confusing thing is great. Now, now you take this out, you don't know which way is which. So what I like to do is take a paint pen and just mark there. Let's do that quick. So I've marked the bottom with a paint pen. And now I know that I can remove this, and whenever I get a bit lost with the numbers, that's going to be at the bottom. Um, I don't need to remove this now. It all looks great. I can have a look. 
and you can see the little numbers over there at each terminal they have a number uh, that will then correspond with this let's get back to that that number corresponds with that so we know that the top one opposite the yellow mark I've made that one over there is the left hand flasher the bottom one is the right hand flasher and then you've got your brake light which is number six so that's this one is the brake lights and and so we go on and then your earth so what you want to do first is test continuity between this one number three which is the earth and your toe hedge so you want to make sure that that actually has a ground that there must be continuity you can just do that with a multimeter and check that the earth is indeed connected to the body of the trailer which will transfer through to here that could well be your problem number one i've had trailer hitches that don't even have that earth that are just relying on that connection it's not a reliable connection you cannot do that you must be connected to earth here and there must be continuity between there and there so these have to be joined otherwise you're going to greet a problem um that's problem number one the other thing is now yeah it comes to wiring this and you think oh how do i get these things to line up so that's why i say trust the numbers when you look at this at the back the numbers go in an anti-clockwise direction so if we take the bottom there's our little keyway remember the third is earth which is over there so one two three is actually number six because looking at it from the back this goes in an anti-clockwise correction so one two there's the top three is the earth so when these two marry up the numbers on here correspond with the numbers on there this is why i say you can trust the numbers um there's another complication here that you will see your right hand side tail light and in the center is a left hand side tail light now quite often guys connect this terminal number seven with number five on here it's not done um so they just put a little bridge across there so your tail lights are working now there's there's different ways to look at this if you have one car with one trailer and that's the way it works i would wire it according to that so your left hand side tail light is separate to your right hand side tail light and this is also indicative because this is not jumped your terminal five and seven is not jumped so this is wired to the left hand and the right hand the tail lights are not working either of them which tells me it's all bulbs bulbs or connections that's why i'm changing to led because you know not yet it look it lasts longer the problem is with the led it lasts a lot longer you don't have all these dodgy connections and cheap fittings and all that um on the flip side of the coin is if one thing goes you replace a whole unit but 200 rand a unit is like for me it's a no-brainer I'm, I'm i'm really tired of just wiring trailers and fixing lights and fixing rusted this and that so that's why you see the reason why you have that your left hand side tail light and your right hand side tail light is because back in the day when they they still designed cars that um had your safety in mind and not luxury in mind um they what they did was they your left hand side lights and headlights and wiring is on a different fused circuit to the right hand side on the vehicle itself so if you if you somehow knock a tail light or something you're driving at night you at least have one side so if something goes wrong on one side you have the other side you have some lights you have some tail lights which is a safety concern so if you have a short in your right hand side tail light and you've got your trailer jumped over all it's going to do is pop the fuse on the left hand side also um so that's something to consider if you're using multiple vehicles multiple trailers like we are then you know it's probably better just 
figure out what's wrong with the one car and um, jump them across. But for this, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to keep them jumped or unjumped. Um, this bike tends to, this is this is now been more in use. See, this was a problem. <sighs> I bought this for one bike, and then I got the, the, the old V-Strom over there. And even though it's got over 100,000 Ks on, it's still more bloody reliable than anything I've had. So the bike trail has been sitting. Now it's used for the youngsters um, KTM 150. So there's going to be multiple vehicles pulling this trailer. So I think I should jump pin five and seven. And um, depending on the wiring in there, it can work on any vehicle. And uh, I'm guessing let's let's do that. So we know that we're going to leave that open so we can just refer to what's going on there. And uh, so what I'm going to do is yeah let's get those lights off and let's see what the problem is okay so here we are back again um and this is another little tool i've made it's the car plug long cable and then some wires that are labeled and this is quite possibly the cheapest and easiest trailer tester you can make yourself cabling is not too expensive plugs not too expensive and just label them um so the first thing i'm going to do is i am going to test remember continuity between the vehicle itself the tow hitch and the earth and you set your multimeter here to diode and make sure it's making a little noise let's see There you go. I have earth and earth connection between the ground on there and the bodywork of the trailer. So I already know that these lights are um, correctly grounded. So so that's one thing ruled out. If you're not getting continuity there, you got a bigger problem. And that's the first thing you need to address is that continuity. Now we got ourselves a little battery here. At the back of the trailer, you know, I've tried other trailer testers and you've got to press there, but there's no one here, so you've got to set up two phones with a WhatsApp video, of course, too much of a trouble, just, and they, they cost twice as much as a little bit of cabling and a battery. So I can start by testing the brake lights. And I have nothing. And then I can test right right indicator and there it goes you test the tail lights i've got tail lights i've got tail lights i don't have brake lights that says to me there's a trouble i know exactly what i've done here so this one is the left indicator so on this particular trailer I've got brake lights. But nothing. Nothing there or there. So one of the tail lights. Now when I connect my brake lights, which is this one. Uh, connect tail lights. Uh, tail lights are working. And because they, they're not very bright, and our brake lights are not working. So it's quite possible that one of them bulbs is uh, gone. We're going to open up and we're going to have ourselves a look. We know the ground is done, we know all this, everything else is done. Could be a connection there at the plug. Um, what I do like to do on these plugs, I know you like to spray well, silicon paste is, is possibly the best for this. Silicon paste on all your connections. Silicon paste in there. Silicon paste in there. Because what will happen is that, um, see our problem is the stop lights, which is that one. And that's where our problem comes in. Good. So let's get those lights off. And then we'll retest just the cables. Make sure the cablings are, are 
and not a problem we'll test the bulbs and let's take it from there right so now we open and um we can see that uh see the way to test these lights you know these connections really are so terrible um it's got two, two filaments and i can see the lower one looks oh there's a burn on it uh, over there so when you're going to test which is the break which is that we again we get our multimeter onto diode and okay so that's the tail light this is working so I should have voltage over here because according to this both filaments are working but now something here isn't right um, I can go back to the back to this and let's connect there's our earth and now I'm going to fit the brake lights with one hand and we're going to try this again if I can get it on One sec, let's get this connector on. Brute force and ignorance, right. So I've got brake lights. I have power on there. I can test it with a voltimeter on volts. That's your earth. One of these is going to give me I've got voltage there. So I have voltage there and I don't have voltage going to the bulb. I have continuity in the bulb. So as you can see, let me hold that up. I've got the brake lights connected onto the battery. You see how handy this thing is? It's so much handier than having to go and try and press, come back, measure, press. And over there, I've got my voltage and over here I've got nothing so that's obviously the brake light terminal and over there I've got my voltage but the brake light isn't switching on so the cabling's good everything's good on this except for maybe the earth connector to here which we can again test uh between there and there, there's earth see now how these connectors are sometimes they're not your friend so that's gone in the wrong way remember that the wrong way around these things have got different heights on them so And now it's working and I can see it's a bottom filament that's working so the brake lights let's put on the tail lights tail is the brown see everything's working now lights are working again but you see what I mean these these, these fittings so basically we've diagnosed the problem why do we not have brake lights on this what's going on and just using this we can now determine that it's it's our connector if i take off the brake lights i've got tail lights 
I've got brake lights and I've got indicator so this is a dead handy little setup to use um, there's, there's very little cost there's a 300 rand multimeter battery you can get out from alarm a bit of wiring at 25 rand a meter 35 45 whatever you're buying and it connects at 100 and 100 whatever rand you're paying for it and there you found your fault simple enough but I again am not completely enamored with this setup so what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to the LEDs but I mean for those guys that have now got a bit of a better idea remember your earth remember your numbers and remember your um, uh, your earth connector here your numbers and which way it faces which you're good to go it's not very difficult um, so thanks for watching please like and subscribe uh, just one thing on the LEDs remember you cannot get any resistance on an LED now I know on this LED that's your earth is white I'm gonna try and check for any resistance so it's all open lines so you can't test your LED you have to actually test it with a battery so you've got to connect it to a battery and see now yeah okay that's working just fine on your bulb you can connect it let's get this out because we're not going to use it anymore and i'm going to measure the resistance of this and they are both so i need to set my range into ohms on here I've got 0.9 and on here I've got 2.9 so 0.9 I know yeah 0.9 ohms 2.9 so I know that whatever goes on to there must be the tail must be the brake lights and whatever goes on to there so I can check that um, you can't on an LED You've just got to, got to wing it. So what I'm going to do, pretty much job done here. We've got our problem. Probably going to have the same problem that side. It's just the connector here. I'm going to get these LEDs on and let's give it a go. All right, guys, there you have it. I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with the fit. Everything's working. Car, trailer, they fit in there quite nicely. And yeah so it is as easy as that so remember your three basics the diagram you're going to download is of this side facing the car and on the reverse of this it is numbered anti-clockwise so the numbers correspond uh remember the break uh, the two lights pin five pin seven sometimes to join sometimes not this time I haven't and um, remember having a good ground between I'll do it at the back of the harness I think if you look in there you're gonna see it somewhere over there there it is very good earth and you should be good to go guys hope you enjoyed this video uh, please like and subscribe